In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build yourself a fully automatic and AFK compact XP farm for the latest edition of Minecraft Java. And guys, this farm is perfect for beginners as it doesn't require many resources at all. And if you guys just AFK for a bit, you can get all the XP you'll ever need. So as I said before, this farm is fully AFKable and perfect for any survival world. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight to it. To build this farm, you'll need one chest, one furnace, two hoppers, one lever, a bucket of water, about 28 blocks of your choice, 22 stairs, and about a stack of glass blocks. And guys, this is actually optional. So guys, you don't have to use glass blocks. If you want, you can just even use cobblestone. It's up to you. And then to build one layer of the cactus farm, you'll need nine cactuses, nine sand, nine solid blocks, and six fences. And this is all for just one layer. So if you guys just want to add more layers, just multiply these numbers with however many you want to build and just get that many resources. So yeah, go ahead and grab all these materials. So to get started building the farm, place down your chest right here and then make your way to the behind of the chest and then place in a hopper. Now while crouching on top of the hopper, place down your furnace and then while still crouching, place down a lever on the furnace like this. And then now place in your last hopper on the top of the furnace and now you can grab your solid blocks and then go out by three blocks on either side. Once you've done that, you're going to want to extend this out by six more blocks. So you should have a 7x7 seven seven square. Go ahead and fill this in. And just like that, your platform should be complete. Now if this is the front side of our farm, go to the bottom right and left and then place in a temporary block on both sides and then build a 3 block high wall all the way around. Once you guys are done building the wall all the way around, grab your water bucket and then place them on either one of our temporary block. And if you guys did everything correctly, the water should flow like this and our hopper should be the only block that is not covered by the water. Once you're done with that, you can remove these temporary blocks. Now with our stairs, place them along right here on top of the wall. And guys, the purpose of the stairs is that if you guys have a lot of layers to prevent the amount of cactus that falls onto the side, because if you guys use stairs and some items fall onto the edge like this, they actually just bounce off the edge and go into our water stream. But yeah, once you guys are done building the basin, we can move on to building the cactus farm itself. To do that, make your way inside the basin and then place a temporary block right here and then a solid block like so. Now what you guys are going to want to do is alternate between temporary and solid like this two times and then get rid of these temporary blocks. So you should end up with three blocks like this. Go ahead and repeat that until you guys reach the other end of the basin. And once you guys are done, in total you should have about nine platforms. So just repeat this all the way around. And boom, just like that, those are our 9 blocks. Now on top of each one, place a sand block. And then your cactus like this. And now to automatically harvest the cactus as soon as they grow, place down a temporary block like this, and then a fence to the center like so. Repeat that for each one of these cactuses. And guys, these 3 fences will actually automatically harvest these 2 cactuses. So we just need to do one more on the other side. And boom, just like that, one layer is all complete. So if you guys want to build more layers, all you have to do is place a temporary block on top of the cactus like this, and then your solid block, and get rid of our temporary block. And now you can just go ahead and repeat the steps that we just did, and boom, we have another layer. And if you guys are wondering what two layers looks like, it looks like this, and the more layers you have, the faster the farm is. And as you guys can see right here, as soon as the cactus grows, they'll be automatically harvested, and then all of the cactus will directly flow into our hoppers like that. And that's actually the construction complete. Now I'll show you how you can get the XP from this farm. So all you guys have to do is just AFK right here and wait for the cactus to grow and automatically get smelted. And once you guys get enough cactus to smelt, so as you guys can see right now, it's only about one and a half stacks. So there's actually very little cactus that has been smelted. Get the XP, all you have to do is flick this lever and then wait for one cactus to smelt. And when it's smelted like that, all you have to do is take it out like this and boom, just like that, we're already up to level seven. And that is just from one and a half stacks of cactus. We shouldn't take too long to get. So if you guys AFK here for a couple hours or overnight, you should be able to get an entire stack of cactus smelted. And then when you take out the XP, you should get a whole bunch of it. And yeah, guys, that's it. That was the easiest fully automatic beginner friendly XP farm for Minecraft Java.